What if each of these two major fast food chains decided to redesign their logo using the branding elements of their competitors? We're gonna find out right now on this episode of Logo Face Swap. First up, let's give a hearty look and feel to the Wendy's logo. I already went into Google and gathered inspiration. Okay, we're gonna pull this Hardy's logo over and image trace it. I'll get rid of the A and the R because D's four letters are the only ones I need. I'll clean up this path. Let's find a good font. How about Parkside? Let's put this into place. We're gonna emulate that little handle on the H. Build this banner and create an offset path around Wendy's. Yes, I'm aware that I misspelled it. Delete our original and let's create this star. Round off the points. I wonder what this star will look like with Wendy's face on it. First, let's delete these awkward freckles. You can't always rely on image trace to get the details right. Okay, let's slide her face into place. We'll add those eyeballs and teeth back for dimension. And we'll fit this up nicely in here. Now we get to put the Wendy's slogan on this banner. Use the type on a path tool. Yeah, I think we nailed it. If you agree, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. Now let's imagine an alternate universe where Wendy had a twin brother named Hardy. What would his restaurant look like? Using the Wendy's logo, we'll search for a similar font. Here we go, CC sign language. We got some work to do on this guy. Slide it in place. We're gonna mess with the tracking, the kerning, the rotation, the size. I'll make further adjustments to this type so that they fit together. It's like they just quickly wrote this with a huge Sharpie. Now in order for me to create a young man in Wendy's likeness, I had to sketch this out by hand and revise it on my light pad. Okay, I'll scan it back in. Now let's digitally render this with the pen tool. What's that? Oh, you want a trivia question to ponder while you watch the rest of this video? Okay. On November 15th, 1969, Dave Thomas opened his first Wendy's in Columbus, Ohio. He named the restaurant after his eight-year-old daughter, Wendy. What was Wendy's birth name? Comment below if you think you know the answer. He's coming into view. Hello, Hardy. We'll place him where he belongs. Recreate this face to place it onto Hardy. <laughs> okay, plan B, we're gonna use Wendy's face and just make a few adjustments to make it a little bit more masculine. As I do that, let me give you an answer to that trivia question. The name Wendy was given to this young girl when she had an inability to say her name, Melinda Lou. There we go. I think this works. My friends, I hope you enjoyed swapping logo faces with me. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve this series, leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to do more of these. If you want to join the tribe, please click subscribe. If you haven't already, please click that thumbs up button. And always remember to question everything and stop at nothing. See you in the next video.